okay guys um today i'm gonna make a tutorial on um kick and bass and um i was given a request by one of uh, my fellow producers said that he wanted a tutorial on how to um put together the kick and the bass now it can be a little confusing here and there but uh, actually it's not really that hard so that's why this tutorial is not going to be too long but um yeah, it is pretty important if you want to if you want to make uh, good music then. So, um, firstly, I'm going to just show you um, what it's like normally, and then after that, I'm going to show you um, uh, what what you can do to make sure that the bass is heard along with the kick without it, um, you know, phasing and stuff, which actually happens a lot if you don't um, properly mix both of them. So here's here's it without any uh, mixing. And it uh, sounds like this. Oops, one second, yeah. Now, out here you can like barely hear the kick, and you hear most of the bass. So you you don't even get the effect of the kick. You can only hear the like the high frequencies of the kick. So now what uh, what you want to do is um firstly you want to add a side chain to this kick. That is actually the most important part of this is the side chaining, and um, the kick can remain the same. And uh, generally, let's say if the kick and the bass are um, at the same level or the same pitch, then sometimes they have a problem where um, this part of the kick starts to um, phase the part of the bass which has got the same frequencies. So that's why you want to avoid keeping the same pitch all the time. So you can basically just move it up by one or two but if the kick just doesn't sound good once you move it a pitch higher or lower then um, I suggest you don't do that and find a new kick which you can put to it um, so you can hear this when it's at a, sli a slightly higher pitch and I'll raise it even more just to show you So the idea is to just basically move it around, but actually you don't really need to do too much of that. What you need to focus on is um, is how you master both both of them properly, so that they mix together without actually causing any phase effect. And uh, this is very useful if you're if you're making deep house because in deep house you really need the kick to be heard separately as compared to the bass. So um, I'm just going to show you how I did this and um, all the plugins are um, FL Studio plugins so you don't have to worry about it if you're a beginner. Firstly you want to lower the bass a little because you don't want too much of the bass to be there. So once you've got this then you link it to a, a, a slot in the, in the mixer and then uh, here's what all I've added. I've added a sound goodizer just to make it sound better. A parametric EQ where I've removed the unnecessary frequencies by clicking this. And I think you should do this for every single thing because even on your ma master channel because it removes all the unnecessary frequencies which are there. I've added another parametric EQ just um, to remove a little bit of the low end because um, sometimes um, plugins like this have too much bass in them. So I prefer doing this. I know this can be controversial about removing the bass a little but it's very little so it won't make a big difference. And you want to add a good side chain. So the side chain would be like this, and it's pretty strong as compared to my other side chain. It would be something like this, um, like this. That's a bit, bit uh, like too much for bass. So for bass, you actually want it much lower. And when it's out here, that's perfect. So then, um, what you want to do now is uh, uh, basically once you've lowered everything and you've put these settings, you want to have the kick also. And the kick, all I've added here, generally there's more mastering on the kick, you can compress it and stuff, but I'm just trying to show you how to mix them together, so I'm not going to talk about that. For the kick, I've removed a little bit of the low end too, just so that both of them have lost that part of the medium of the low end, which uh, which causes the phase between the two, if let's say if they're at the same pitch. At the moment, I do not think the kick is on the same pitch as the bass, so they will not phase. So now when you hear it, it won't sound... Um, um, like uh, like the bass is uh, surpassing the um, the kick, so I'm going to show you the the original sample first, and then I'm going to show you the um, the sample which uh, which is correct the correct way to do it. Now here you can hear the kick only the high frequency can be heard, and now let's hear the uh, part where the kick is heard fully along with the bass. I'm just going to reduce this a little. 
so you can see there's a huge difference um i'm sorry i should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video um you should wear headphones while you're doing this because otherwise you won't be able to hear how the bass is going along with the kick and that's very crucial you need to know how both of them go along otherwise if they cause a phase it's gonna like completely destroy all the high and mid frequencies because these when once things start to fade the volume also increases along uh, not fade sorry phase um the volume also starts to increase along with that phase which causes a lot of distortion in the mix so you want to avoid that and now as you can hear here um it's properly mixed so there's no um there's there's no phasing nothing and it's just properly there together and you can add more frequencies to it and it'll sound great so that's what it sounds like as compared to what this was like if you're a beginner this is what you would have gone with you're seeing how big a difference it is and um and it helps your mix so much it makes it sound much fatter and much more um much more better so um so that's about it for the kick and the bass uh if you have any doubts do let me know i may have missed out some points here excuse me for that but i think i've completed everything here um it's not a very big deal especially in the beginning you don't need to worry about this too much but yes you do need to mix them properly so that the kick is heard the kick is very important especially when it comes to like house music because that is one thing which actually requires a nice kick as compared to other genres um even in those usually bass is also very very important in fact bass is extremely important in many songs but it depends from genre to genre so this is the tutorial for um kick and bass please do leave a subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, if it helped you out and uh, like the video below if you like this video and um i'll be releasing a new song soon i've just been awfully busy uh, this april so because my exams just got over and stuff so you can expect that soon enough but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching